What up, people? Push and Wild Black here with Push and Wild Black Sports. And I'm going to do a quick vlog about the Bears and Denver game. And uh, this is going to be different than the Cowboys one because there's a lot more to talk about during that game. Because we have the Bears quarterback situation. Who is the starter after today? You can definitely ask that question. Uh, who is the playmaker all on offense, the safety help, um, or the safety play, and the secondary play in general. The rush was there last season. The rush appears to be there this season. And so there's a lot of, um, and we got rookies. Rookie quarterback that I really didn't like the drafting of, but I'm surpr pleasantly surprised. So, um, there's a lot more to dive into, so let's get in it. The first quarter was frustrating because Mike Glennon, to me, is a backup quarterback. He can't move. He gets rattled when he's rushed. Uh, he didn't. It wasn't like he wasn't poised because he stayed in the pocket, but he just he couldn't move. So. If he is in the, if he d does improve in the next three weeks, in the next three games, then he's gonna hurt, get himself hurt because he can't move because there's no pass protection for him. So any team with a rush is gonna knock him on his butt and he's gonna end up getting hurt. After the day, and I didn't like the the Mitch Trubisky pick. I would start the kid. There's no reason not to start the kid. Look, the Bears have John Fox is this is probably his last year. The offense the, the coaching staff is gonna be different. The only coaching staff I would keep is the defensive. Nick Fangio is a great defensive mind and he did wonders last year with um very minimal talent. And the rush is there. Like, the, the, the rush on the quarterback is there. If that rush isn't there, though, then you can throw on the Bears all day. And if the rush isn't there in the backfield, you can run on the Bears. So the rush is there, but if you can tire them out, then you can, uh, you can beat them. Because there were missed coverages, and you can dink and doink on them up the field all day. Um, Mr. Bisky controlled the game. He had that, that first drive that he had, that first touchdown drive that he had was seven minutes. He controlled the game. He was able to escape the rush. He looked poised. He wasn't it wasn't like he was afraid of the moment at all. Whereas Mike Lennon got hit and he got hurt. There was a there was a, a time where he got hit and he got he walked up gingerly a little bit. I don't know where Kevin White was. I don't know if he lined up anywhere. I don't even if I don't even know if he played. So Tariq Cohen, to me, they tried to run him up the middle and he was able to get yards. So there were things that I noticed and there are things that I liked. I don't want to see him up the middle anymore. I think he works better in space, but then again, could be wrong. He's just so little, though. There's going to be one day he's going to get hit really, really hard. And I don't know how he's going to be able to handle that. So if I was the Bears, I would start Mr. Trubisky just because I don't know how our offensive line is as far as protecting the quarterback. And he needs to be able to, the quarterback needs to be able to move around. So, quite honestly, and we didn't really get a good look at Sanchez for uh, the backup QB position, unless they know he's going to be the third stringer or the backup. But um, I would honestly get a, in one of them games, I would honestly get a look at him just to see if he can move around because one for four doesn't. Seem, doesn't tell me much 
you need a backup QB. But I would really start the kid, and I was seriously thinking about think about putting Glennon as a as a backup again. I know they paid him a lot of money, but he can't move, and he's gonna end up hurting himself. Brian Hoyer ended up got get, got himself hurt last year. Jay Cutler got himself hurt last year just because they're gonna. The offensive coordinator, Daryl Loggins, is pass happy. That's what he wants to run. He doesn't like running the ball. Jordan Howard was able to run the ball, but you they and was able to run the ball very well and was able to run the ball to very well for a rookie. He set the record for uh, r- rookie yards last year. But there were times where they didn't use him a lot. So if so, his tendency the John Fox's tendency is to run the ball. Daryl Loggins' tendency is to pass. So if you're going to have a quarterback that's going to be able to pass the ball when called upon, it seems to be Trubisky knows what he's doing and had command of that offense. So I'd start the kid and put him in the shotgun. He didn't seem too rattled under the center, which was a good sign. Um, but to be to put him in a comfort level, if you're gonna start him, because I would everybody's on, everybody all the coaching staff offensively anyway, is on a one year deal anyway. If you uh listen to the local media here, the um Bears GM is Ryan Pace is gonna get his coach in here after a year. Put the kid in now, see what he can do. Put the kid in now. Have him in um, shotgun. Have Tariq Cohen as not in the main back, but have Tariq Cohen since he's in the shotgun anyway. Have him as the as the running back. Have him catch the ball out the backfield, or have him do screens and have him run in space and see what happens. And you can have a two you can have a two back set in Jordan Howard and to Cohen or whoever else because Jeremy Langford would actually fit better in that system anyway if you're going to have him if you're going to have Trubisky as a starter then I will put Jeremy Langford and to Cohen in as a two back set in the shotgun and see what happens but to me Trubisky ran that offense well and he seemed to be Calm and uh, poised. And the two issues that I did see with him is he locks on receivers and he doesn't know how to throw receivers open yet. Like the, Or he doesn't know how to throw to a receiver where it's in stride and then the receiver can make a play. Like he waited until Victor Cruz got open when it was on that, on that red zone play where it was like second and um, it was second and goal. He waited until Victor Cruz got open before he threw the ball. And then the last play, he locked on to number 14. And Victor Cruz broke away from his defender, and he didn't look in that direction. So he tried to force the play in the corner of the end zone, and it didn't work. That was the last play of the game. But other than that, man, he played well, played better than I thought he was going to be because listening to training camp, he... Started out real rough in training camp, but um, he played real good today. So I will put him in with the first team just to see what happens and go from there. Since uh, that's your future anyway, see what happens there. But anyway, that's about um, that's about it, man. I've liked what I saw other than the defense. We still can't take the ball away, and if that rush isn't there, then it's a wrap because you can definitely throw on the Bears all day. But anyway, y'all, push them all black out. Later.